Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Whip It Like Butter. Okay, so today y'all we're making some pecan candy, or what some people may also call pralines. Super good candy. If you've never had it, I don't know where you've been. I don't know where you've been, but today I'm going to show you how to make it. So you only need four simple ingredients. So you need butter, sugar, evaporated milk, and some pecans, and some patience. That's it. So I made my um, pralines or my pecan candy a little bit on the soft side because that's how I like it. If you like yours a little bit firmer, you know, you can play around with the recipe and cook it a little bit longer. What you can do is go ahead, you do you can do a test drop on your parchment paper and see if you need to cook it a little bit longer or you need to stir it a little bit longer. It's a little bit of an art to this, but with a little bit of patience, you'll definitely get it. So let's go ahead and get into it so I can show y'all how it's done. Okay, so we need chopped pecans, we need granulated sugar, we need evaporated milk, and we also need some butter. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get a cookie sheet and you're going to cover it with parchment paper. Usually I would spray underneath to get the parchment paper to stick, but I didn't want any extra oil because there's enough oil from the butter in this candy. Okay, so to get started, we're going to start with a pot on our stove and then we'll, or a saucepan, you know, whichever. Add your evaporated milk, okay, and then we're going to add our sugar as well. And we're going to grab our whisk and we're going to go ahead and whisk that together, okay. And we're going to continuously whisk periodically, I would say, as the mixture begins to thicken. So as you can see right here, it's not really doing anything. I'm going to show you the progression as we continue to whisk as the mixture begins to thicken like so. So as you can see, it's kind of like foaming like big, big balls, I guess you can say, or big pockets of foam here. That's not where we want it to be, so we're going to continue to whisk it and, and allow it to thicken even more and also to darken. Okay, so as you can see here, the big batches of um, the foam are getting a little bit tighter as it's getting thickened but however we are not there yet so we just want to go ahead and whisk it again like I said make sure that you really are getting the bottom of the saucepan too so um, you're preventing it from stick sticking now you want this to be kind of like at a medium boil you don't want it to be too hot because like I said it will stick to the bottom of the pan so you just want to keep it medium and just keep whisking keep watching it you know stay close to it and as you can see here it's starting to settle and form like little thicker smaller um bubbles here like people some people call it a soft boil that was hard for me to fathom with making the recipe so i just want to show you how the mixture changes so you can really see and also if you have a candy thermometer you can use that when it reaches about 246 degrees Fahrenheit is where it needs to be but over here we cook with all of our senses so I'm just showing you how to use your senses to um, gauge when this candy is done so as you can see here it's gotten darker right it's gotten darker we have those little small tight um, bubbles as well and we're gonna go ahead and whisk it some more okay and we're about there now Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add our pecans. As you can see, it's reduced a good amount as well from where we started with the um, milk and the sugar. So this is where you should be as well. And we're going to go ahead and fold those pecans in with the spatula. So as you can see, there's no sticking at the bottom. Everything's moving around really nicely right here. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and add our butter in there. Now, you can turn your heat off at this point. I have big chunks of butter. You can dice your butter up smaller than that to make it easier to work with, but you definitely want to break your butter down. Now, add your butter at the end. You don't want to add your butter in when you're cooking your sugar and your milk. It makes it a lot harder for that candy to really thicken the way it needs to and to thicken as quickly as it needs to. I learned this method old school from my great aunt. She taught me how to do it. I didn't do it the way she told me the first time. Um, yes, you definitely want to add the butter at the end. Now, it looks like it's getting a little soupy, right? 
it is but as you continue to stir that butter will go ahead and mix into your candy mixture now at this point we're mixing for about three three and a half minutes so be patient with this take like you know a couple seconds break if you need to that you know the mixture will keep thickening as it's sitting there but about three three and a half minutes so just be patient with this process and I'm showing you all the progression as well as it's coming together now you can remove this completely from the heat I don't know I was just over here you know stirring so I left it here but the candy is hot enough to melt the butter so you can remove it from the heat now you want to stir and um, do a test drop to see if it's the thickness that you want once you start placing your candy um, on the parchment paper if it's too loose for you you want to stir it some more if it's gotten too hard for you you want to place it back on the burner do not turn the burner on just set it on the burner and stir to make it loosen up okay so we're almost here as you can see the mixture is starting to turn it's getting really thick so we're going to go ahead and stop at this point Okay, so we have our parchment paper ready. You want to have it ready because temperature changes with candy, right? So I have it sitting over here, it's fine, but I want it to maintain its temperature while I'm dropping the candy um, on the parchment paper. Like I said, if it's starting to get too thick, you can place your um, pot back on the heat, but if you have your parchment paper ready and you move pretty quickly, fairly quickly, then you shouldn't have that problem. Now, you can use an ice cream scoop, a small ice cream scoop for this process. I just use a tablespoon. You need a good heaping tablespoon. You may just have to do like, you know, two drops from the tablespoon stack, you know, as you can see here. I'll drop a little bit and then add a little bit more to the size that I want them. It really depends on what size that you want your candy. I like a good little piece of, um, good size piece of candy. So that's why I did my candy in this size. So. So it's really dependent on how big or how small that you want your pieces of candy. Now this makes about, you know, no more than I would say like 12 pieces of candy depending on how, you know, big you drop your candy pieces. So if you want more candy, then you definitely want to double, triple, so on and so forth to get the amount of candy that you want. So once you have all your candy dropped on your parchment paper, you can let it sit for like 20 minutes or maybe a little bit more than that. About 20 minutes and the candy should be nice and hardened now my candy is soft that's how i like my candy to be even after you know overnight and everything it was still soft it held you know the same i'm showing you here it held the same consistency like once it's set like that's the consistency it's going to be that's how i like my candy like you said if you want your candy a little bit firmer then you want to stir a little bit more and let it sit a little bit more so your candy can be firmer but i don't um make mine like that i like mine to be kind of like melt in your mouth type of situation you know what i'm saying so of course i'm going to show you all the candy and then we'll do the taste test at the end so make sure that y'all stick around for that and i think i'll definitely gonna love this candy y'all who don't love pecan candy and to make it at the house you know it's so easy you may have thought it was harder than what it was it's definitely not okay let's get into this taste test let's go okay y'all so here's the pecan candy it's already you know fully cooled and everything so let me show you how soft and look the pecan candy breaks right apart very soft like i said if you want your pecan candy a little bit firmer you can go ahead and you can cook it a little bit longer or you can take it off the heat and you can stir it a little bit longer just really play around with it and do a test drop so you can see how firm you want your pecan candy to be or you can add a little bit less butter too that's also another option so y'all know i love this taste test and can't wait mm. Mm -mm -mm. delicious recipe on i gotta try this pecan candy it's so rich and chewy and delicious what you waiting for make sure you get the recipe down below in the description box also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that. Please share, hit the bell so you're notified every time we post a recipe, all that does, you know what I mean? And make sure that you like the video too. Thank y'all for your support and we'll catch you next time.